to Vlogmas Day 15. Okay, this is what I do to curl my hair. I've had several requests to sort of explain what I do. So this is this is it. It's nothing special. I am definitely 100% not an expert at all. This is just what I do for my hair. So I clip the top section up, leaving the bottom section all the way around. Now, I don't try and curl this because I found that if I curl it, it gets too bouffanty and I don't want it I don't want to look like Shirley Temple, it's just too much. So what I do is, using my straighteners, I take small sections and I put a bend in them. And I do that all the way around, just so that they don't look too straight underneath my hair, but also you can't tell that they've got a curl in them either. It just looks, I find that this looks the best for my hair. So... I always find this side harder to do than the other side. But I don't spend a lot of time on this bottom layer. I literally, I have got heat protection on, by the way. Just um, the this one that I'm using at the moment, the Azor Healthy Shine uh, Extreme Heat Protecting Shield. So I put that on all the way around. My hair is at a funny length at the moment, so it's not quite long enough to put up. I mean, I can get it up. At a pinch but it's not really long enough to put up so what I've been doing when I've had a bath one so yesterday was the day where my hair was washed and blown when I have a bath which I do most nights especially in the winter time I find that this bottom layer sits in the water so when I get out of the bath it's all sticking out um so I've been trying to kind of just lift it enough at the back put a little bobble in it so that I can sort of get it to not sit in the water but anyway that's just something you have to go through when you're growing your hair so so yeah so that's it i just literally put a bend all the way around don't i'm not precious about it I just take pieces and i just try and make them look a bit I, I do like the bottom when i'm doing this so i like it to the bottom bit to stick out a little bit i just think that helps with the look anyway that's what I do with that layer. So then I take the next layer down and I divide my hair at the back using a, a bulldog clip. I just take one side and clip it off. So I've just got this section to work on. Um, and I just add, add some heat protection. Um, and then I start at the back usually, just get a piece, comb it through. And then I start by putting a little curl in this bit at the back, just with my straighteners. You can see that? Just so that this, that will drop, just so that this back section looks like it's had some attention. Um, it's got a wave or a curl in it. So, and I just kind of work my way around. Some pieces I bend, some pieces I will curl like this like that and I kind of just work my way through the different sections in my hair because I've got um layers in it they're all kind of different different sections and so the top bit is reasonably easy to do because they're nice long straight sections and so I tend to curl these and I curl them away from my face I just find it sits they sit better with me or curled away like that so I just, I literally keep working on it until I feel like there's enough curling it for me. So let me pin those bits up. I sometimes get the bits I've done and pin them up and then I will continue working on these underneath bits. Yeah, I was very flattered when somebody said you should leave your hair naturally curly because it's really not as you can see it's very very straight natural naturally so yeah making a bit of a mess of this but I do try and pin the curls back that I've created so that I can see what I'm working with underneath so yeah 
I'm really looking for that. I'm not looking for a curl as such. I'm looking for more of a bend through my hair. I quite like taking slices of hair as well. So down the shaft rather than individual pieces. So if I take a slice, I can get a nice back bend through it like this. So I, you know, I've always curled my hair with straighteners. I've tried to use a um, curler and I just, I find that I don't get a very good result. I get either very, very curly result usually, which maybe it's because I've got a lot of straight hair, I don't know, but it doesn't work for me. And then this front bit, I sort of comb it through. Now, I find that if I can get this bit right, the rest of the hair looks okay, so and what I want from this bit is I just want a bend in it. I don't want I don't want a curl as such. As you can see, I'm definitely not an expert. So it doesn't take me very long to get kind of a curl through through my hair. And if I can see any straight pieces, I will go back and just put a wave in them. Just so that they fit in with the rest of the hair. So yeah, there's definitely not a particular special method that I use. And these straighteners are just um, cheap straighteners from Amazon. I think they were £20. I've had them ages. I did used to have some GHD ones, which I liked. Uh, I think my daughter's got them now. She's got very thick curly hair and so she, she really needs a good straightener, whereas I can make do with any kind of straightener really. Okay, so that is that side done, as you can see. And then what I, what I do is I use this um, got to be meat, uh, beach matte spray. It's a texturizing salt spray and I just give everything a good, I lift it and spray it to try and get it to stay in for longer than half an hour. Give everything a good, a good spray. I'm running a bit behind this morning. I've been on the phone to my son in Australia, so we've had a long chat. So, yeah, it's took a longer to get ready than it usually does. So, this is my natural hair. This is my curled hair. So, I move the bug dog, dog clip over to that side. Give everything a um, heat protection spray through. And then, I'm going to lift this side up and start working on on this side. So does anybody else curl the hair with straighteners? I'd be interested to know how you do your hair. I've tried different curling methods. I've even tried, you know, the crimping things you can buy. They just left my hair looking like I'd crimped it. <laughs> they didn't work particularly well for me. Um, as you can see, my hair takes a curl quite, quite well, um, but just doesn't stay. It, it, it wants to straighten that's its sort of natural natural position so okay let's drop some down i don't want too many curls in this under piece it's raining today as well which makes matters really difficult because as soon as my hair gets a whiff of rain it will straighten itself out I do hairspray on top of this, I'll show you that in a second, but for now let's just get these curls in. Okay, I'm going to go and finish doing this because it's taking ages and I'll come back to you when okay. I'm I'm back. My hair's curled, as curled as I want it to be. I might just give a little bit more to that bit there. I've used my texturising spray on this side. I just feel happier with it curled away from my face. For her spray, I use um, this one. It's just an Aldi one. Um, it's the uh, Extra Strong Hold Lacura hairspray. I think it's one ninety nine for a big thing. It lasts ages. And when I've done the texturizing spray, then I just go through it with this, sort of moving it into place as I'm going. Sort of like that. I can 
can see that that piece is going to want to come forward. So, so yeah, that's my hair done. Obviously, I'm talking, so it's taken me a little while this morning, but generally it doesn't take me very long at all. Um, by this evening, it will be out. Um, it'll be much looser, and by tomorrow, it'll be it'll be gone. So I tend to do it on second or third day hair because I never get a second day out of it. So yeah, that's that's how I curl my hair. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch up with you soon. Hi everybody. Um, just going to do my advent calendar for you this morning. We're on Vlogmas Day 15, so I'm going to open that for you if I can find number 15. There we go, number 15, that wasn't too bad this morning. Okay, let's open this. How's everybody doing? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, I'm good. We're whizzing towards Christmas, aren't we? Another tubular, um, something or other. Right, what is this? I think the thing I would say to make a revolution is please label these products because I'm never sure whether they're eye products or lip products, but let's have a look. So this is like a very um, blendable uh, copper tone. I'm guessing it's a lip product. Um, that's the tube. I think it's probably too dark, dark to be an eye product and unfortunately it doesn't tell you on the on the packaging what it is. I'm going to look this up and pop it on the screen for you. But yeah, another tube type product uh, with a doe foot applicator. It does blend nicely. So I guess, if I had to guess, I would say it was a one and done eyeshadow. But I will look it up for you and let you know what what it actually is. So yeah, that's day 15. Okay, I need to get on with my day, so I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. As I said before, it's Vlogmas Day 15. And we're going to do something a little bit, bit different today. So yesterday I did um, a fashion kind of Christmas winter wish list. Today, I thought over the next few days, we'd do a series of videos about my favourites of 2023. So I want to do a hair one, which I'm going to do today for you. Um, I'm going to do a makeup one. I might do a skincare one separately, otherwise I think they'll be too long. Um, yeah, I've got a few ideas on different videos I can do, but I think I think today we're going to do a hair one because I talk about my hair a lot. I'm a bit obsessed with, with hair. So I thought I would talk about my very favourite products of 2023 and before that, actually. These are things that I rely on, I use day in day out um i've not included any brand new products because i obviously want to make sure that they work for me and that i like them before i recommend them to you so this is not a sponsored video these are just things that i use that i purchase with my own money and i use on a regular basis so funnily enough there isn't a shampoo i can recommend um, i'm currently testing a new one from superdrug you'll have seen me haul that in a in a previous video and I do like Superdrug shampoos, but I can't say there's a standout shampoo that I love and I use consistently because there just isn't. I try different shampoos all the time and I kind of feel like my hair gets used to a shampoo and conditioner. I don't know whether you know what I mean by that, but that it, it works for a short while and then it starts getting greasy quickly or it just doesn't seem to work anymore. And I find that sort of mixing it up works better so i might have a shampoo say for a month and then when that's run out unless i've found it absolutely fantastic and i'll buy it again then i will go on to a different shampoo and i'm talking about cheaper shampoos up to very you know much more expensive 25 30 pound a bottle of shampoos i still haven't found anything that is my ride or die that i would absolutely love so we're not going to talk about shampoo and conditioner, um, but I will talk about all the other products that I use. Um, I've popped in a clip of me curling my hair because I've got it curly today and a couple of people had asked how I did it. I mean, it's not amazing. I just use the straighteners, but I have shown you that. So I'll pop that clip in first. So starting with when I get out of the shower, I use a uh, turban, uh, like a microfiber hair turban. Now, I got mine from Decathlon. 
I think they were 199 299 super cheap but I always use one of those to sort of get the most of the moisture out of my hair so I don't have to rub it too hard I take them on holiday with me I always make sure I've got one in my suitcase we're off to Australia as soon as you know and I will take a couple to Australia with me because you're in and out of the pool your hair's wet all the time and I find them invaluable so just to wrap my hair up and leave it to sort of get to, to the damp stage so when I have a shower in the morning and I wash my hair, if it's a hair wash day, I wash my hair, condition it, and then I will put it up in the turban and leave it while I potter around as long as I can, really. Um, I usually do my skincare, then take it off. You know, I've got my moisturiser on ready for makeup. I will take it off, lightly rub it. I try my best not to really rub my hair. And then um, the first product I will use is this one. This is... Um, the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Moisture Boost, Boost Leave-In Conditioner. Um, sorry, I've had this a while and I don't know where the top is. I'm not very good with tops, I tend to lose them. But they're, they all sit in a, a top drawer beside where I get myself ready in the morning. There's not a lot left in this, actually. I'm due to order a new one. But I find, I love the smell. It's quite a coconutty smell, so if you're into coconut. Um, it's reasonably cheap, you know, four or five pounds. I don't think it's more than that. I will link it. Um, and this is probably my 10th bottle. I use this a lot. I find it sits in my hair so I can get a comb through. I've got very straight hair, but quite knotty um, and a lot of hair. So I really struggle to get a comb through without some kind of leave-in conditioner. And this works a treat for me. Oh, by the way, I meant to say before, if anybody's got any really, you know, couldn't live without products for hair, please let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to try new stuff. But yeah, this is my go-to leave-in conditioner. I've used it for years. I do like the Palmer's brand. Um, and yeah, that's my leave-in conditioner. So first of all, I will spray my hair through with that. Then I will comb my hair, hair through with a wide tooth comb. I also condition my hair in the shower with a wide tooth comb as well, um, just, just to kind of break up any, any knotty bits gently in the shower sort of with conditioner in i will comb it through with this um well with the one i have in the shower and then when i get out of the shower and i've sprayed in my leave-in conditioner i would gently comb through with this first before i start using any brushes or anything like that so my hair's wet i've sprayed in my leave-in conditioner i've combed it through i will then use my wet brush now you'll have to excuse i'm using this tatty old wet brush but i do always use a wet brush um, and I will part my hair where I want it to be parted and just comb it through, uh, brush it through with this. I don't know whether anybody's noticed on another video, I did show you that my second, my new wet brush, because I wanted to replace this because it was a bit tatty, had a crack in it and it snapped. So I've thrown it away. I've ordered a new one. I'm waiting for it to come. So um, this will just be a backup, um, probably one I can chuck in my holiday bag or something. But yeah, I, um, I'm i waiting for that to come. But I do definitely recommend the wet brush. My son has two girls and in Australia and my son over here has two little girls as well. They've all got long hair and both my daughter-in-laws, I recommended the wet brush too. And they, they'll never go back. They both said amazing. So much less hassle when you're combing the hair through after a shower or whatever. Um, so yeah, I can definitely recommend the wet brushes. So I've combed my hair through. Then what I will do is quickly give it a blast with the hair dryer to um, just take some of the moisture out, but not dry it because I tend to dry it with a round brush. So before I, so I've got it sort of semi damp. I've blasted it with the hair dryer. I'll put it back in this. So I use one of these. Um, I hauled this uh, recently and I'm, I'm using them lots, it's great. It's just a Velcro, um, you've probably all seen them. And I usually just put my hair back while I do my makeup. So it's my hair semi-dry and it's sat back waiting. So I think I got these, a pack of five from Amazon. So when I've used that, I will then, and my makeup's done, I will divide my hair up and I what I'll do is use one of these bulldog clips I'll take the top section of my hair and sit it on my head and work on the bottom section and I use a hot brush for that let me just show you okay mine is just a cheap and cheerful one it's probably a copy of one of the uh 
bigger brands, Think Babyliss do one, Revlon do one, and it's got two heat settings and I use it on the hottest heat. My hair is semi-dry anyway, and I start by going around the bottom, just curling my hair under. Um, I find that this works better for me. I have arthritis, as you know, and I have arthritis in my neck and my shoulders, and I can manage this, whereas a hair dryer in one hand and a brush in the other, I sort of struggle with that, but this works really well for me. So, um, yeah, so I use a hot brush. Now, before I start using the hot brush, the product I've recently discovered, this is probably six months ago product, but I use it every single day when I blow my hair. It's the bedhead, the Tiggy Bedhead Queen for a day, and this is a thickening spray, and it gives it insane volume and texture, it says on here, and it really does give me more volume. So I sort of, the section that's down, I will give it a quick spritz of that, and I will pop that, um, down and I'll, then I will blow that bit with the hot brush. Then when I let the top bit down, I will again spray this. I tend to focus on the roots for the top bit and then I will blow it with the hot brush so that I get a nice blow dry. I've been looking for something like this for years and I saw it recommended somewhere, I can't remember where, and yeah, I won't be without it now, it's great. It's £10, around the £10 mark, but there's loads left in there. Don't use a lot, just a quick spritz. Um, yeah, so for a volume spray, a thickening spray, I can definitely, not that I really need thickening spray, but the volume aspect of it really works for me. It doesn't smell too bad either. It just smells a bit hair spray. So that's the second product. Um, then when my hair is dry, it does depend what I'm doing with my hair. So on a straight day, I will have used this before I've started with anything. Sorry, I missed this one out. This is the uh, protective shield. So I always use a heat protectant. Um, I'm not fussy about which one. I'm using this at the moment because I've got it, but I uh, there's one in B&M, a coconutty one that I also like that I use. Um, I always spray on a heat protectant when I comb my hair through. So that's that. And next, so my hair is now dry. I will use this um, Frizzies cream, the Weightless Wonder. So this one. So I'll just squirt like a two pence piece size into my hands, rub it through. And then it's that's fantastic for flyaways without weighing your hair down. So I'll sort of use it around, especially if my hair's straight, use it around the roots um, and just sort of comb it onto my hair with my hands very gently. Um, it's nice and lightweight, it's a John Frieda one. It lasts ages. I am getting to the end of this one as well, so that will be replaced. But yeah, this is a product I've used for years and I can definitely recommend. So that would be to smooth my hair. And then there's two kinds of hairspray I use. I use this one um, just lightly when my hair is straight because I feel like it's a little bit heavier. Um, but I also particularly like Elnet, and I usually have a big one of these and a couple of small ones to travel with. Um, this is the normal hold one. I find that it brushes through really nicely when you want to sort of refresh your hair, you just want to brush it through. It's not, it's not sticky or anything like that. I don't find this one sticky actually, but I find this is more useful for when my hair's got a curl in it. So talking about when my hair is curly, I will use this got to be, uh, beach mat texturizing salt spray um, just to sort of give some texture through the hair because my hair is quite limp and it wants to fall down and this sort of gives it a bit of grit so that I can sort of manipulate it into into some curls so yeah I'm, I'm enjoying this I've been using this for quite a while now and I think I would definitely repurchase it's salt spray but it's not too gritty it doesn't feel like you've got salt in your hair it just gives it some some texture so yeah, those are all the products that I use. Now, I haven't got dry shampoo here, but I do use dry shampoo. My favourite is the Batiste. I've tried several uh, own brands. I've tried different ones, but I think the Batiste dry shampoo can't be beaten. I quite like the, the tropical one, uh, but I, I will use whatever I can get my hands on. Um, so I always have dry shampoo and I'll use that in between washes. So yeah, those are my favourites of 2023 and before 2023. So um, let me know what your favourites are. What do you use on your, your hair? Is there anything in particular that you would recommend? Um, and I think tomorrow we're going to do 
favourite makeup items of 2023. So it's going to be difficult to cut it down because, as you know, I'm a bit of a makeup addict, but um, I will try my best. So tomorrow that's what we're going to do. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. Bye for now.